Hi, I'm Armando Martinez. I'm a former student of Camp Green Meadows, and actually I went back as a counselor my junior and senior years. I'm locally raised. I graduated from Atwater High in 2005. I own a business down here on uh, Main Street, Pilates Plus Merced. I struggled a lot in the classroom because I was very independent. I'm a uh, the first born of two immigrants here, so I didn't actually learn English until I was in second grade. So I constantly got bullied and uh, as a defense mechanism, bullied back myself. And all the way through sixth grade and up until Camp Queen Meadows did I do that. And it was there that I realized how, you know, working in a structure and working with my peers and made me thrive even more. I really didn't realize how much I'd like to work that social muscle that I had. And uh, so much that I actually ended up being camper of the week out of a all the kids attending there at all the schools attending there, which was a surprise to not just myself, uh, my teacher for sure. Um, my favorite memory from Camp Green Meadows would have to be when we went on a hike, and it was my first actual hike. And uh, I just remember going out, and I was the kid that would typically fall behind and do his own thing back at home whenever we went on a walking uh, field trip or anything of that nature. But I just remember this urgency to want to be at the front and just ask all these questions about what tree is that? What plant is that? Is that poison oak? You know, and I just remember being so exhilarated to be outdoors and seeing these massive trees, rocks and bright colors everywhere. Prior to going to Camp Green Meadows, I had never really had a positive experience outdoors. And afterwards, all I wanted to do was go outdoors, whether if it was the beach, whether if it was to Lake McClure, even going to Snelling to Henderson, uh, to the Henderson Park and just floating down there, I couldn't get enough of it. I had never played sports before. All of a sudden, I wanted to play baseball, hang out with people my age more instead of staying inside and playing whether it was Zelda or Super Mario or something like that. And I think it's really important for kids to experience outdoor education because when you're able to thrive, outdoors with others and then bring that back home to when you come into class you have a whole different perception of your peers a whole different perception of what you see out in the world outside of just the classroom and your teacher and these books that you have in front of you you have these things that you touch and smell and that you're around all the time and it's important to work the right side of your brain work the creative side of your brain so that people can aspire to be something more besides a student and I would have never realized that I like to be a leader if it wasn't for being in the outdoors and going to Camp Green Meadows. It was in there that I saw how much I love, not, not so much to lead, but to be involved with others, to be engaged with others. And little did I know, I would end up owning my own business, and I never would have had that sense of independence or drive had I not been able to go into an environment I knew no one, was very uncomfortable in at first, but realized how much I love being out there and ended up being Camper of the Week there. My name is Danette Flores-Satelli. I'm the Health Service Manager for Head Start in the Early Education Department for MCOE. I grew up in a really small town named um, Planada, which is a really small country town out of Merced. I um, left a few times, but Merced has found its way back to my heart. I left once to go to UC Berkeley to graduate, and then I also left to San Diego to study public health and my graduate degree, but both times I have returned to Merced and have a small family, I have two young boys, and I'm loving life. I've never been to the mountains when it's snowing, but I've been there during the springtime, so it was the first time that I've been in um, knee-deep snow or really high snow, so it was a really great experience to see the whole um, Camp Green Meadows covered with snow, and there was some times where some of our friends, they hadn't even seen snow before, so it was a pretty great experience for all of us. It is essential at this time and age. Right now, we see a lot of children and a lot of adults just using technology and staring at their phones. I'm, I'm kind of somewhat of an introvert and very observant, so when I'm out at the coffee shop or I'm out at the playground with my kids, I notice that a lot of people are on their phones and not interacting with their children or children not acting with each other because they're just looking at their phones. So I think um, going out into the wilderness and detaching from the world of technology is so important. It's important to know what's um, around you and how you can de-stress. So I think going to the woods also, even though maybe at that age I didn't realize 
realized that it was a distressor. It was great to be one with nature and to see all the beauty around us without attachments to technology. We didn't have iPhones back in the sixth grade when I went to school. But um, I think it's a great, important time for us to um, support this cause for children to go out there because I would have never made the partnerships and connections and friendships if it wasn't for Camp Green Meadows. Well, I'm Adam Cox and I'm the uh, CEO of the Greater Merced Chamber of Commerce, also a board member uh, for the past uh, seven years at Merced City School District. Uh, I first went to Camp Green Meadows in 2006. I went, uh, I was a senior in high school and I went as a member of uh, the Chamber's Junior Leadership Merced program. And we uh, went up to Green Meadows and had a retreat that was uh, definitely a great experience. We had a really great weekend at Green Meadows and, and actually after that year I, uh, I went back several years with the group uh, as a member of the steering committee and so uh, I've had, had many, many years at Green Meadows now and, and our program has enjoyed it. A lot of great memories have been made at Green Meadows, both personally going through the program, utilizing those facilities, learning some of the great things that we did up there in the beautiful surroundings, um, as well as in later years being able to see uh, the effects that it has on the, the students that have subsequently gone through the program. Uh, it's the perfect, serene, great setting for uh, any type of educational uh, program. It really is um, a gem. Green Meadows has served uh, this county and the entire Central Valley uh, for the past 50 years. And we have a unique opportunity now to uh, turn around uh, and give back some community support to that facility that has supported our students for so many decades. Uh, the needs are great and the payoff is going to be even greater. I think that it is so important, uh, especially for the population uh, that the school districts in the Central Valley serve. There are not a lot of opportunities for many families to uh, enjoy the great outdoors, to visit the national forests or the national parks that we have in the area. And having a facility like this virtually in our own backyard uh, has provided uh, tens of thousands of students with an opportunity to learn about nature, uh, about environmental stewardship uh, that they might not have ever had the opportunity to do. Uh, and it also provides us in, in these days of next generation science standards, it provides a great outlet for our students to connect uh, what they're doing in the classroom, learning in the classroom uh, with, with the actual application in the outdoors. We have an opportunity to expand and upgrade the facilities to serve even more students at a much higher level. Uh, please consider supporting Camp Green Meadows.